Dry points, what they basically are, you are drawing into a metal plate or a plastic plate. And you use certain tools, needles. I use pretty much everything I can find that'll make a line into metal. And you're drawing into a plate and it's digging a groove. So if you look at some of these things that I did, you'll see some of these lines that are thick and kind of feathery. That's the ink being held in those furrows that you made when you dug it in. I like to work on copper. I mean, this is plastic. If I'm lucky, I get 10 prints out of a plastic plate. Uh, so you go, well, why would you use plastic? Well, it's easy to cut. It's, um, if you're not really interested in doing a, a zillion plates of it, it's great. So this is a New York City sketch that I did. And I'll go in pretty broadly, and I just try to sketch it out a little bit. Yeah, I, I try to move fast because I also don't want paralysis to analysis, you know? Where I start going, oh, should I do that line? Maybe I shouldn't do that line. Just do the line, <laughs> you know? You can always do another one. These don't cost a fortune. You do another one. And the other thing that some people don't like, but I love about it is, I don't know what it's going to look like until I print it. Then I do this. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. Uh, if I hold it up like that, I get an idea anyway. This is a dauber. I'm going to put some ink on this. So I'm going to wipe this. And I press, but I make sure not to move it because I don't want to break that all off. See? Yeah. You can see already it's starting to come up. Yeah. See? And it's being held in those really, really deep trenches, basically. So the paper, we let it drip. When it goes to a press, we squeeze out a lot of the water. The more water you squeeze out, usually the sharper your reproduction is. So, like I said, I don't have a, a press, so I'm gonna use this spoon. All right, well. Oh, that's awesome. But when I run this then through a press, if I, go, if I went home and I ran it through a press, it would definitely be darker. And the other thing is, if it wasn't darker, say it was, oh, my lines aren't deep enough. No problem. You just go back in and you just draw over it. And that's the other thing that's really neat with dry point is you can mix mediums on it. So if you pull one and it really looks like a real flat tire, it didn't work out, you don't get rid of it. I had a teacher, I have a book of his actually, he, he said to me, making art should be like digging a ditch. You don't worry about whether that pile of dirt is smooth or not. You're just digging to get to something.